Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, how I finesse the pins into the backhoe in the tractor when I'm hooking my backhoe back up. And the same thing applies when taking it off and there's too much pressure on the pins and you can't get them to move. But uh, my secret is to just um, keep trying to twist the pin and then when it moves or it's free and moves then i know i'm close to the sweet spot to be able to slide the pin all the way through i see on the tractor forums a lot of people um, have trouble with that and i found that the secret is to um, twist the pin and that lets you know when you're finding the sweet spot so that's what i'll try and illustrate here here we go. Okay, so it turns out I was not able to get my camera in a good position when I had the uh, when I was putting the backhoe on to be able to really get a good angle to where you could see um, what I was doing with the pin. So I've pulled it out. I actually used the tractor yesterday, and um, so it's been mounted up. I'm gonna go ahead and try and. Uh, show you what I mean by finding the sweet spot by twisting that pin so I think I've got the camera framed where you can see the pin how I'm going to be trying to twist it while working or pushing on the um, controllers on the backhoe okay I'm gonna get into position start her up and uh, give it a shot to lower down my other stabilizer. But I'm keeping pressure on trying to rotate this. Okay, so we finally got it there. Took me a while. But uh, when I put it on, I visually try and line it up visually. And then that usually gets me pretty close. And, and really I'm doing the same procedure when I'm putting it in as getting it out. So, hope that helps. Have a great day. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 
share it if you know anyone that it might help out and uh, subscribe to the channel I, um, I appreciate the support and you watching thanks a lot have a great day stay safe